Ставка. That's better. Like that, look. Oh, yeah. Right, I want you to hold it up for me. I don't know what I was going to do next. Can't really remember. Lift it right up and fold it in. We somehow need to make sure that that's square when we fit it. Hi. I got you some coffee. And a sausage. Because oh. you had no breakfast. Thank you very much. Cappuccino. Mmm, that was good. That, that was on. on a special barbecue. Mix it up? Yeah. No, no. don't. No sugar! I put sugar. Or is it at the bottom? Yeah, all the way at the bottom. There you go. Thank you. Thanks very much. That was tasty. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Stars out of five stars? Uh, 4.5. You don't do that. Alright. Because right. the sugar
All right, so the bed's in, it's good to go, nice and solid. So just need to get the mattress sorted for it and then we're, we're, we're good to go. Um, still thinking it needs to be pulled out. It's, um, well, it measures about one meter by the time you got the uh, the mattress on there. So one meter wide, so it's pretty wide. And from corner to corner, well, I don't know if I can do that. I'll go. It's 190, so by the time I've got the walls on, clad in or whatever it is I decide to do, I'm gonna lose even more space. We'll be down to about 180, which is actually about how tall I am. Um, so reality is uh, the bed's not big enough. Um, so what I'm intending to do is make it a little bit wider. So it'll come out here. Um, and that will be some form of, well, I guess there'll be some sort of a unit there, some sort of unit there. And I'll just have to think about the middle piece. Um, but yeah, I'll probably just take the cushions off some chairs and it will form the rest of the bed. Um, but that's where we're up to at the moment. So glad to get the uh, the bed in. It means that I can get away in the van uh, with work. I don't have to worry um, if my other van sells soon. Um, the only thing I really need to think about is washing facilities, but we've got a bucket. We can use bucket water, all good. All right, so next job really, actually I don't really want to start now because it's getting quite late, is the side trims and insulating and uh, sealing those. So I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. Um, I'll probably just do some little jobs in here. Yeah, good progress. <laughs> So, a lot of good progress made yesterday in the van. Was that it for a long time? It's at least 24 hours over this weekend. So, it's bank holiday Monday now, obviously. A uh, very sad day today um, with the Queen's funeral, but um, I'm not going to sit down and watch it all. Um, I'll probably just end up watching the highlights. Um, although, I don't know why they'll be called highlights because they won't be very <laughs> spectacular. Um, Anyway, so today I'm going to take off the side skirts of the van, uh, or the side trims I should say, uh, give them a clean, um, uh, clear out any of the drainage holes underneath the van and also uh, treat it with Sikaflex <clears throat> and put them back on. I've got some, I've got some uh, brand new, I've got some brand new clips, hopefully they're the same ones they look like they are, so hopefully they fit alright. and. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fit them on, seal around them on every single part possible uh, so no walk can get through on the inside because as I've shown on previous videos you can see where the water's come in and now where one of the clips has come out already you can see there's a big hole so they definitely need sealing right let's do it So as you can see, all down the van, it's these little things that leak. So for some reason, Mercedes and Volkswagen haven't bothered to seal the top of it so the water does leak in, but we can fix it. So, clean the first part of the trims, and as you can see, it's pretty much immaculate, so uh, no treatment needed. So I'm just going to seal it up and put the trim back on.
Right, last few pieces of trim. Are you putting those ones on? Yep. Okay, line it up nicely. Oopsie. Just go on, line it up, push it on. Upside down. Yep. Yeah, it's upside down. Set. Just give it a tap in all four corners. Give it. Give it a tap in all four corners. No, that's not going to do anything, is it? Hit it in all four corners. Like that. Yeah. Alright, good job, last one now. Does this glue never dry? Trim done. <laughs> okay, so today I've finished off the trims on the outside and also um, closed cell foam in the rest of the van. It's completely covered now. I've only got the back doors to do and this side door at the bottom. Um, and then we are 100% insulated and closed cell foam. Um, so yeah, really sad day today. We've just been watching the last of, uh, whichever way my hand goes, the uh, the funeral. Really, really, really sad day. Mm. Uh, very emotional. It's been hard to uh, to keep watching it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, at least, at least we've got Elizabeth the Corgi. So what we're up to now is I'm going to try and build a little seat unit here. Um, no plans, but I've just measured it out to be uh, 1.2 meters, which will still give us loads of space. I'm not even showing you. It'll still give us loads of space here by the door. Um, but yeah, it'll give us a nice little bench area, and it might just be a small bench, and there might be like a little bit of a table here. But I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what the hell I'm doing, if I'm honest. <laughs> as usual. You just keep on making it up a, a long. How long do you go? That's exactly... Making it up as, as long as I go. Yeah. Yeah. As I go along. Yes. Pretty Thanks. Good. Thank you so much for reading my mind. Right, anyway, let's get on with it. challenges of building a van is trying to get the screws in the right place and also measure things that are level now this is easy because this just goes straight off the floor but that how to measure that obviously I can measure from the floor upwards assuming the floor is level across here I'm gonna get a pretty accurate reading however I'm just sat on a box of screws. So. No, I haven't. It was the glue. Um, however, once you get to places like this, you can't measure from the floor because this is in the way. So what I've done is I've measured from here, uh, from the top of this line here, using a piece of wood across there, and I've got that line. Let me give you an example. I'm not going to do it accurately, but effectively, it was that. Yeah, that gave me that line, roughly. So, hopefully it's right. So not only that, 
once I've got that, oh, that's the top, sorry. Once I've got that in place to the top of that line, I've then got a mark in the timbers where the screws are going to go. Uh, so that's what I've done, those little crosses, or basically where there's some beams here and here, because there's a space there, there's a space there, there's a space there. So I've got to get it on that beam and that beam. Hopefully, it should be spawn. So I'm also using self-tapping metal screws. Tell you what, so much more room in this fan compared to the other one. So, so I don't split the wood, I'm using this real technical method that's called take a shortcut. And I basically screw where the he a, uh, head of the screw is going to go and just spin it around a little bit and then effectively it can counter sink and it stops the wood from splitting. I'm sure there's a more technical way of doing this. Obviously before you do this make sure your screws are not so long that they go through the outside of the van because that will be a disaster. So if it goes through and you feel it catch again, stop instantly because you know you're going into the outside of your van. I just realised that is too low. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a piece of timber on the floor and then measure the gap between there and I'm going to put a support in here just so it's got a little bit of support on this side. <coughs> in fact, what I'm going to do before I start this piece is I'm going to measure, so I want a piece of timber that runs out exactly level with this here in line with the door. Um, and then I'm going to have a flat base here and then that will be kind of like shoe storage under there. Uh, so let's measure in a nice comfortable number that we don't forget. And that is... And that is going to be 70. So, 70 centimetres, where's the pen? Is here. So we know our next cut across there needs to be 70. In order to find out where exactly to put it, I'm going to use this right angle. That's going to give me a nice straight edge. If I measure 70 mil from 70 centimetres from there, which will take us roughly to about there, we'll have the right piece of wood in the right place. And I just need to screw it in where there's anything hard to screw into. So there's there's a piece here. That's about it. Kind of run out of kind of run out of space, but it's okay because it will be screwed in in different places so for now we'll go with that so as we know we've got a line where we want it to be which is here as good as I think it's going to be so first one 43, I'm just going to place very nicely into that and hopefully oh, it's just a bit tight that one, so this one's going to be even tighter then but that's fine through there and into this timber with a bit of ply 
and then a timber and that'll hold all those together. This area here can be probably apply that, and then this will have a little hatch, and that can be shoes. Yeah, solid. So, as usual, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I know that I want some form of bench, whether it's half a bench, and then this is kind of a unit here. I'm not sure yet, but I definitely want a bench here that I can sit on and rotate and look out the window that I haven't got. Um, but yeah, when the doors open, at least I can sit down and get myself ready in that area, so that'll be cool. I've left quite a big space here, which is wasted space, but I think the ladders and things for Amika's bed's going to be here, or we might put another chair here that she can then climb up and get on. Um, but again, we just make up as we go along. One thing I do know is, I'm having the shower in that corner, I've already marked it out. And it's a smaller shower, it's not a big one, but it's not so small that when it's that far in, um, I'm just kind of standing here and my head's got that much space because I'm not going to be able to have a wash in that. Um, it's big enough to put the toilet in as well. So, But I'm mega keen to get this bench done before it gets too dark, so I need to get on with it. There we have it guys, a bench. Well, the start of a bench anyway. Obviously not finished, but you get the idea. So... Plenty of big enough. The idea is it's completely blocked off at the front. Um, but then we're going to be able to get in to the top by moving cushions and just they're basically dump boxes where I can put all sorts of junk, jackets and things, jumpers maybe. And then obviously, like I said, down there that will be for shoes. Um, not sure what that'll be, maybe just sort of generic storage. But I think for the first time. My entire life I've actually built something that's straight and square and secure. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm actually really buzzing about it. Until we come to putting the plywood on, then it'll all be out of shape, no doubt. But we'll just cut the plywood to shape, won't we? Right, we're losing light now, so I'm gonna call it a day. Um, but I'll probably give you a better update tomorrow after work, once I come out here. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that, so. <sighs> Let's just put the camera there if it's going to balance. So, yeah, the idea is obviously, I think I've built it at the right height, so it's built at. <laughs> I can't even remember what I built at, I think it was 50. It's built at 47, yeah, so by the time you've got some ply on the top, that'll take it up to about a 48, roughly, and then some cushions will be a 52. But obviously, they'll squash down. So yeah, I'll be about the same sort of height, maybe a little bit higher, and then we've got the floor to think about. That'll come up a few more as well. So all in all, I think I've done a good job, and it's bloody st stable as well. Although it's a little bit close to that door, which I'm concerned about. Which I'm very concerned about that, because I still need to put something on that door. Hmm, didn't think about that. But truth be told, it's so much easier in a bigger van. There's just more space to make less mistakes. In a smaller van, everything has to be like, well, it's just harder. Right, I think I'm done. I can't make any more noise now, it's getting too late. It's about quarter past seven, half past seven. Um, I can't be cutting at this time of night, especially on a bank holiday Sunday, on the day of the Queen's funeral. So I'm gonna go in, get myself another non-alcoholic beer, which I've become accustomed to, thankfully. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I just need one more support in there. In fact, I think I've got one somewhere. I think I've just cut it. One more cut. One more cut's not going to hurt anybody, is it? What are we on? 
42.5. That's the last cut of the day. Because it is definitely too late now. Look away, close your eyes. And that should be a perfect fit. Game changer. That is a game changer.